Hello and welcome to Spurred On Headquarters, where the building is completely white, never red, never red. I'm here with Greg Mitch. What's going on, guys? And I'm Rhys James, and this is part one of two of this week's Spurverse, where we talk about the things that have got us excited to be Spurs fans this week. And this week, what's got us excited is a very young man by the name of Alex Pritchard. Ooh. You've seen this guy? You've seen Alex Pritchard? Amazing, amazing. Looking pretty good. Yeah. Championship hero so far. Mm. Place of Brentford at the moment. Brentford obviously in the playoffs, yep. so they're doing pretty well. Pritchard obviously got something to do with that. Oh, big part, big part. Pretty good. And he's coming back from loan this season. Can't wait. Looking pretty good. Have you seen much of Alex Pritchard? Yeah, I have. He's been lighting up the uh, championship. Everyone's singing his praises. I've even got Arsenal mates that are saying he's a good player, so you know he's You know he sounds deal. good when you got Arsenal yeah, mates. definitely, definitely. Picking him up. Yeah. Uh, let's hope he doesn't become the next Noel Campbell. Oh. Uh, he's looking good though. He scored a 30 yard free kick this weekend to help send Brentford into the playoffs. Mm. Pretty good. Uh, Mark Warburton, Brentford manager, has been very uh, sort of positive about him in the press. Yeah. He's actually described him as the best player in the history of the universe. <laughs> no, 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 what I think he meant was the best player in the championship. Well, same yeah. thing. Uh, Warburton, who is obviously Brentford boss and the purveyor of fine, fine breads, uh, uh, has gone on to say he's technically outstanding. He can dominate a football. That's wait, what you want. Wait, dominate, a football. dominate a football? Yeah. Like, dominate a football? I think it means in a football sense rather than a Fifty Shades sense. Ah, okay, yes. cool. Uh, he's at his best with the ball at his feet. Yeah. Like the kid at school in five aside, you just give the ball to, say, run through everyone. Run around all, all the players, the yeah. They keep his eyes. Good lad. Uh, he sees a pass, left to right side, has the ability to take it on the half turn. He's nailed on for the Premier League, sounds good to me. Couple him up with Ben Taleb, yeah. get him in there with Ericsson, another young player, yeah. smashed it. So basically, he's just not rating the rest of his side, basically. No, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's all boy all. dance for Richard. I mean, no all one else Richard. has done anything. It's all Spurs. I'll take it. Spurs essentially go into the playoffs of the championship. Pretty much, saying. yeah. Uh, he also said, I'd never be disrespectful enough, this is Mark Warburton, Brentford manager, I'd never be disrespectful enough to speak about what Spurs should do, but in my opinion, and I am a Spurs fan, mm. a legend, mate, uh, by the way, I think he is more than good enough to go and positive influence their squad. Well, Mark Warburton, I think that you are going to have to positively influence the squad in a couple of years. Unfortunately, you know, messed it up. <laughs> Mark Warburton, for the fact that you said you're a Spurs fan, he can do no wrong. Exactly. Say whatever you like, we'll endorse it, we'll back you. Good, I love him. The future of Spurs is Mark Warburton, yeah. Alex Pritchard, Ben Taleb, maybe Mason, that's yet to be seen, mm. and Deli Alley. You can always win everything with kids. A always. A football phrase is what everyone says. Thank you for watching part one of Spurverse this week. Join us in part two where we're talking about Chadley. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it. I'm Rhys, this is Craig, see you later. So I wanted to have a go at some haircut footballers. That is a footballer who spends a bit more time on their hair than they do on their footballing ability.